Good afternoon, JCPS. We are filming today from Harvard University. I'm at the School of Education here at Harvard. Um, we are here for the fall trip, as we've been uh, over the past year a couple other times, with Mayor Fisher and other city leaders to really discuss and work on uh, the Louisville Promise Initiative that we've worked so hard and we're ready to launch um, in the months to come. Um, as I've talked about before on uh, the weekly wrap-up, Louisville Promise is an initiative uh, to increase wraparound services and support services for all JCPS children and children throughout the entire community, and also to give a scholarship, a two-year scholarship, uh, to JCTC and other two-year institutions um, throughout our state um, for all JCPS graduates. So it's exciting work, it's, it's tough, difficult work, but we believe this is gonna be the game changer that provides support for our students and ensures uh, they're post-secondary ready and that they graduate from college. So uh, a lot of work's happened here this week and we're excited about the future uh, of Louisville Promise. Um, also, when it comes to uh, ensuring that kids are college and career ready and transition ready, I've seen some great work this week and in recent weeks out of the Backpack of Success Skills. So excited about the Backpack work. We really think it's taking hold, changing instruction, teaching and learning uh, throughout JCPS schools. Just seeing some exciting things happening as kids are adding these artifacts, artifacts to their backpacks to ensure that they are ready in the success skills um, around uh, learning or uh, skills such as uh, persistence in learning and innovation and collaboration and communication and being a globally and culturally competent citizen. Um, so we've seen great work around that and we, uh, if you haven't seen the video um, that our communications team released this week highlighting uh, Southern High School's Tyler Edwards uh, and his work around the backpack, please make sure to watch that video because it really does a great job of showing how learning, teaching and learning is being transformed within JCPS. At this week's board meeting, we had a, our last off-site board meeting at a school. Uh, thank you to Atherton High School for a, a great uh, board meeting this past Tuesday night. And to all District 2 students and staff who came um, and showed demonstrations of learning throughout our great District 2. I'm a resident of District 2, so I was, uh, had a lot of pride in being there at Atherton High School uh, on Tuesday night. We also did a lot of work around our budget and ensuring that we support our students. We talked about that here in Louisville Promise. But this budget that we are working on now for 2019-20 is really going to increase the supports we provide for students, whether it be mental health counselors, um, academic intervention counseling. We really want to support our students, uh, give them all the supports they need to be successful. Uh, we're going to make sure we do that in this budget, provide those wraparound services, and also the supports around backpack of success skills. So we know that we've got to drastically increase technology and the availability of technology for our students in the classroom in all of our schools and we wanna do that. And we've got a great plan to do that with Dr. Belcher and his team and we believe it'll be reflected in this year's budget for 2019-20. Uh, finally, got to visit, had some great school visits this week. Uh, got to once again go back to the W.E.B. Du Bois Academy, uh, which was great. And so we'd like to thank Congressman Yarmouth and his team for visiting Du Bois Academy and seeing the great work that is happening there. Also had great visits to Waller Williams uh, School and to Carrick Elementary. So thanks to those schools, communities for opening their arms and welcoming me to their school. Um, it's the best part of my job is being in schools, talking to kids. Uh, talking to staff members, and so I got gr three great school visits this week before I, I left for Boston. And finally, without a doubt, good luck to Central High School t tonight, playing in the 3A state championship. We'll be pulling for you. Unfortunately, I won't be back. I'll be in the air flying back from Boston. Won't be able to make it, but you will be have uh, representatives from my cabinet at the game tonight. I will be in attendance tomorrow evening for males. Uh, 6A state championship game against Scott County. So good luck to both Central and Mayo. Let's bring back two state championships tonight back to Jefferson, tonight and tomorrow night back to Jefferson County. Thanks, hope you had a great week. Get rested up this week. Come back next week ready to go. Thank you.